So with that, we've pretty much executed the entire expense reports flow. The last thing that I would just want to do for you is give you a quick little tour through some of the other settings available, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this session. So other than like the workflow and everything that we've specifically run through today, I'm just going to quickly talk about what each one of these pages are. So we'll just spend another minute or two here. So collaboration earlier, I mentioned you can turn off the call logs feature. So a lot of the features can be disabled entirely just because you're not going to need them in your business. And you can also um, restrict them so they're only accessible by certain employees. Throughout the entire platform, we have this role-based access control system where there's all these privileges like view expense reports and such. So what you'll see is I could say that the emails feature in expense reports is only accessible to somebody and I can create a special one. So I could say email. I can create a special privilege called email. So in this app, if you don't have that privilege when I add a user, they don't get to see the email feature. So otherwise, quick links, there's just a little area in the left navigation. You can put like some standard like employee help materials or anything like that. Um, each of the reports available inside of here, you can disable them or restrict them, just like the features, uh, tags. There's a bunch of different fields inside of each uh, inside of the app. So it just shows you all the fields. They're all configurable, like the expense accounts that come configured by standard. You can go change them. No problem. Same thing with like the statuses and such uh, email templates. So you saw how I was automatically sending emails for my workflow earlier. You can just go build them in there. It's really simple. Like when you wanted to add, like, let's just say I want to add the current approver. Um, you just type in whatever message you want. It's a full HTML editor. And then I could come and select any field I have stored inside of here. So I just come down, I find current approver, and then that would embed it right into the email. So pretty simple email template system. Surely you can number based on what's coming from your older system. And then the key things here are um, master layout, list layout, views, and actions. These are the big ones. Master layout is awesome. This is your field customization. I talked about a couple times, okay, adding a custom drop-down menu, removing stuff. So let's say I remove all that stuff, and then I want to add that drop-down menu for expense or type. Look how easy this is. So expense type. And then we said like project related and corporate. So we just do project related and then corporate like that. And then that's all I need to do. So you save that. Now instantly, every time somebody puts in a new report, it'll pop up just like that. All those workflow builders, the email templates, everything adapts around this. So now I could go write a different workflow based on that expense type. Master layout, super powerful, and you can change everything too. So you can totally come down here and change expense date. You can just change it to date to save room. You can change the width of the column in here. That changes the standard. And you can even add individual attributes in here to the table itself or go rearrange them. So everything's totally under your control. You can create custom references to other apps. So I can actually create a field that would search and link to like another contact inside of here. Or you could do like a work order or you see like a project or a help desk ticket if you want. And then there's like formulas. So I can write a custom formula that does a calculation. Like I could add, you wouldn't do like a sales commission or anything like that, but I could add a custom um, VAT tax calculation formula if I wanted. And then just take the total amount and multiply by uh, 20%. So lots of different things you can do there. The list layouts controls the, the searching. So when you're looking through a bunch of expense reports, the reason mine looks all nice and kind of compact with that information is I've just customized my list layout. So any field you put in, you can display inside of here. That means I could go configure my um, my new field. So we just added the expense type. So I can add that in there. And now that instantly becomes visible inside of my list layout like that. And then the last piece is views and action security. So views is just your left navigation. So a lot of stuff is drag and drop. You can just go rearrange stuff as you see fit disable things that you aren't using. So you'll notice I shut off a couple right there. You can also change your default homepage. So maybe the default page, right when you come in, what you wanna see is you would like to see all of the expense reports pending your approval. So now every time I click on expense reports, it comes straight to pending my approval. So just little shortcuts like that. And then just very granular security controls. So just same thing as you notice every action, like whether you want people to delete expense reports, export them, anything, it can all be restricted to a particular type of user. Okay, so that's going to go ahead. That